Hi, welcome to Green Props. Today I'm pleased to present my first Brazilian rain tree that I got from a local bonsai artist in August. I think he did a really good job wiring the two branches that I'll end up keeping as I prune it here for the very first time. I just found out that there might actually be two types of rain trees, and this might not be the one that has that beautiful fluting pattern on the trunk. Either way, hope you enjoy the video. So let's go with this one first. Cut that back right here. Oh wow, that's pretty tough. When someone else took cuttings, they, re they removed all the leaves. So I'm gonna do that now. It's very early in its development, um, but you know, I, I wanna document the whole progress and see how the tree responds to what I do to it over time. This one I don't think is gonna stay at all, so I'm gonna cut it right back. With a few of these cuttings, I'll keep a couple of sets of leaves on just to see what the difference is. On this branch right here, I've got four stems coming out from the same whorl and two of them are going back in towards the tree. So I'm gonna cut those two off completely and allow for some die back. Okay, so now on this branch, I just have these two stems going out away from the tree. I've got another stem coming out here at the base of that branch I was just talking about. Um, I won't be needing that, so I'll cut that one out. I got this branch here and this branch here, and they're crossing, crossing over each other. I'm not sure which one I want to keep yet, so I'll... I'll Think about that one. Now I can take this out of here and see how many leaves have, have dropped off. I think that, that happens with Brazilian rain trees, but I think this one was under attack from all those aphids and maybe even some spider mites, so probably even had some more drop off. I know people defoliate their Brazilian rain trees. I'm not sure what, when or why to do that. I'd probably to promote back budding, but I'll, I'll have to do a bit more research. A few of these are gonna have to come out. There's just way too many kind of in the same place. There are a few going in the same direction, like fish bones, like a rib cage on a fish. So I'll have to think about that and I'll, I'll select a few more to take out. Okay, I took a bit of time to look at this and, and I don't think I'm gonna need this lower branch here because it comes out pretty close to this uh, main apex here and it comes out on the same side in the same direction. So it, it clashes with the apex, therefore I'm gonna take it out. There we go. Got a bit of um, dead wood in a few places, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out right now. Um, well, first I'll take out this one here. I'm not too worried about the, the die back when it's right up against the trunk. I don't think that's gonna cause any issues because the sap flow's pretty strong there. I might be wrong, hopefully I'm not. All right, I'll take this one out as well. I'll make sure to cover those with, with some cut paste. I might as well do the same down here. I'll take out this dead wood twig here. Even get a slightly closer cut. There we go. That was a good cut. Fish bones here. I like this one up here because it comes out at the bend. That might make a good apex. This one's not so great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this one because I got another one here and one here. So this one can come out. There we go. For now I'll just 
kind of scoop some of this dead leaf matter out. I'm sure it's full of pest eggs, so I'll scrape that out and then I'll repot this. All right, there we go. I think I've gotten rid of a lot of pests just by doing that. top root so I'll start by cutting that off. I need to learn how to properly sharpen my tools. Big root that wraps around the base of the trunk there. Oh boy you can see right there so I think I might take that off just to get it while it's, while it's early. Oh, there's a lot of roots on it, but. What an odd root. There we go. Take a few of these higher roots out. There we go. Okay, well, I'm surprised to see that this Brazilian rain tree has bounced back in no time and is growing leaves out of every single one of the branches that I cut back. So that's pretty amazing to see. Yeah, the, it buds back really nicely and I guess it responded well to the root pruning work I've done and to all the, the branch pruning as well. So that's pretty good. Um, I think the more I look at this, I kind of like this as the front of the tree. I think this one's a little too straight, so um, I'm going to cut it back here because the Brazilian rain trees like to die back a little bit, just to make sure that I don't lose this one. I'll put even some cut paste on there to make sure. This straight stem here with the, these leaves back here. so. I'm gonna cut this one off here. This uh, leaf back here, I'd prefer if the leaf was on this side maybe, but, uh, or the bud. But it's not. Either way, I can grow that out and have a new branch come this way. I might leave this one for now, some of these small branches because that gives me the option to cut the, co the top off and redesign it a bit. So I'll keep, I'll keep those buds in there for now and I'll probably keep them short. I'll keep cutting them back, but I'll make sure they stay. I got two more back here. Um, I can't see myself using this one here. Like there's two right beside each other, less than an inch away. So I'll just cut that off. Okay. Cut this one back. All right, so that's the start of a pad, I guess. I'll leave my options open here. I can't 
can't see myself using this, and I'm just going to add to a bulge. Drifting again. All right, right now the leaves are all folded in because it's bedtime for this thing, and I'm shaking it around, and it's its defense mechanism. Just to fold the leaves in. Quite a chunk there, so this one for sure is going to need some cut paste. 